Five o'clock, more details in the disturbing case out of Shepherdsville. The mother accused of killing her two boys in Bullitt County, Tiffany Lucas, appeared in court today. And a detective from the sheriff's office shared new details. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shay McAllister. And I'm Doug Prophet. Today in court, it was revealed she told detectives the shooting was an accident. She's charged with the murder of her two boys. Ian Hardwood and photojournalist Alyssa Newton have more on the testimony, and we're talking to family members. They should both be here today in school going to school, learning, <laughs> playing sports. Maurice Baker Jr.'s stepmother, <laughs> Michelle Rice, and Bobby Baker, his aunt, gather outside the Bullitt County Judicial Center. How do you accidentally shoot a kid two times and then shoot their brother? How do you do that? It's no, no. No, there's no, no we're accident. we're not accepting that. There's no. no. It's not mental illness. She knew what she, she did. She had options. Bullitt County Sheriff's Detective Richard Beal testifies inside. He interviewed Tiffany Lucas, the mother accused in the murder of her boys, six-year-old Maurice and nine-year-old Jaden. Uh, I asked Miss Lucas if she meant to hurt her children. She indicated that it was an accident. Quote, it was an accident, end quote. Detective Beale's testimony brought the hearing back here to the scene of the crime. He says another officer arrived to find a neighbor tending to the boys who were shot in the head and that Lucas was outside in a nearby driveway. Lucas's defense asks the detective if the sheriff's office tried to detect any drugs in her system. Are you aware of any kind of toxicology screening or, or drug screening my client uh, may have participated in between the time for arrest and now? The detective answers no after the defense motions to preserve and review the evidence collected by the sheriff. Judge Jennifer Porter approves and leaves Lucas's bond unchanged at $2 million. Although court ends for the day, it's just the beginning for the family's mourning two special lives lost. We're going to be here every time, every step of the way. Um, and we're going to make sure that we bring justice for these boys. Justice, the grieving stepmother says, is the death penalty. In Shepherdsville, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. And the judge ruled there was probable cause to bring Lucas's case to trial. The next time she'll appear in court, it'll be before a grand jury.